Hello, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my sh shed kitchen, the wife's kitchen. And I'm in here because she's not here, otherwise, I'd be getting a slap at the back of the head. What's most important in the kitchen is my kettle for cups of tea. Gotta get one of them on the boil, I think. Anyhow, as promised, as you know, okay, I had a little smudge in the front. That was really annoying. I think I've cleaned up a lot, lot better now. She should be able to see me and hear me and so on. Now, sound. When I've been doing some vlogs recently, they've not been too bad. I've been using my old faithful. Got a, I don't know, about a five foot bit of wire to it. And I had to put some tape on it because I lost it when I did my Jexa video of me riding going, wee, look how good I am and how much fun I'm having. But this has been too bad as long as you don't move it. Leave it there. I got a bit fed up with that, so I went online <clears throat> and I started looking for GoPro sound microphones and so on. To be honest with you, there's not a lot out there. Then I started going into shops, you know, local electric places, and they didn't seem to have much either. So eventually I came across this. Remove, Remio View, re, Remove, oh, I can't even pronounce it. Please, you know, someone's gonna write and say that's what it's called, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Remo View, rem, Remove, Done it already. This is the M1 Plus A1. But it is a Bluetooth microphone for GoPro. Fours, three and three plus. I have a four. Perfect. What do you get? Well, you seem to get this, which looks like the microphone. And I wasn't sure what this was, if I'm truly honest with you. But it came in the pack, about a hundred pounds here in the UK. When you pay 200 odd pounds for a GoPro, 100 pound for a decent mic sounds expensive, but if you're gonna do what I do, which is chat and video, and stick it online, it's gotta be worth it. So, let's open the pack. We have the top square thing, I don't know what it is, and looks like a microphone in a waterproof case. So far, so good. One. Oh, little boxes too. Well, there's the box. Does show a diver, so it must be waterproof. Not sure about that, because I've got a waterproof case. And I've got the other case I use when you're having a microphone. So, let's have a look. We get some of a must read. Do that in a minute. Some stickers and a thick manual, which is seven different languages, which means that we've got a couple of pages. Here we go. And I don't normally do this, as you know, I work things out, so yeah, okay. Let's open the boxes anyway. Bit loud, sorry. We get a USB cable. We get the microphone. And a waterproof case. Ah, oh, right, okay, so that's got to, there we go, open. Oh, there we go. And this is the microphone. Wireless. Not sure how it'll attach yet. But we'll see what else is in the boxes. So that's the case. That can go back in there. Put the box there. And in here we have... What is that anyway? Oh, okay. Well, I think this clips onto the back of the GoPro. Not sure what this is. Anyway, we get cat, fluffy. I suppose that must go in there to stop the blowing wind. Often I've done, I did a lovely um, Suzuki 1340 beaking and the bloody wind outside, you know? So this must stop that, so that's great. Put that there. And go so that would clip onto me this way and obviously here and these are all the same normally yeah bluetooth button and on and off and there's the charging so that will charge that another little bag we've got the ordinary cover which will go on there for the not too windy days oh and another one looks like a gopro mount which would be excessive so that's what it says we get in here we're missing one bit. Got, 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 got. All them bits. 
except the A1 connector. Ah. Ah. A1 connector. Now I know what that does then. Yeah. That will go in there and I suppose to the back of the GoPro. Now I can't show you me putting this on the GoPro because it's the back of the GoPro. And this is the A1. That's the M1. And there, yeah, exactly what I said it was. And this is the power switch pairing. I've paired many things before. So usually you hold that down, the hold that one down. They flash blue, red and so on. Which it does say here. Yeah, LED light, blue fully charged, red um, not. And it flashes when the power's going down. That's really quite good, to be honest with you. Ah, and that's what I was thinking it did. So it connects to the back of the GoPro. Don't need to show you that now. And that, this clip clips in there. So that's what you get in the packet. Waterproof housing, as I said. I, I know I'm terrible when it comes to reading this sort of stuff because a lot of it makes sense anyway. And this is how my brain works. I mean, there's lots of shit in there you don't want to know. But I assimilate things and then you pretty much find everything else works the same sort of way. Anyway. I will now be testing this on the back of there, like I promised, and I'll be doing a certain distance away, and then further away, and so on, and not having this little thing. I'm gonna keep this. The only thing I'm noticing now is this is gonna be really quite thick, and the housing is only small that fits that nicely in there, and this covers the bit there that goes that way. Now, I'm not gonna use this when I'm riding, okay? You hear me quite well when I use the microphone and put it up inside, obviously, balaclava. And I'm thinking this thing here, sitting here, would be quite, nah. But in the shed and out in the garage and doing my walkabouts, I'm going to use this. So, test coming up next. Stay with me. Sorry, babbling, but I didn't open the pack before. So, anyway, it does say you've got to charge these. So, both are going to be red. Charge them up, and then I will get on with it. Time for me to get a cup of tea. And probably get out of the kitchen before the wife realises I'm here. <laughs> Until she watches the video. But she does watch my videos. Hope. I know Derv man expecting the wife to come and slap me back in the head. She's still shopping. <laughs> right, I'm happy. Do I want these stickers anywhere? Maybe I do like putting stickers on things. Right, stop doing that. Right, let's get on with it. Oh. That was reasonably simple. I'm no longer using the mic. And now I'm using this. So it rotates, which is good. Hold it, button on here, switch on the back of that one. Hold both the buttons on here. They flash red, blue, red, blue, then they go blue, and that one's blue as well. So I'm hoping that if I'm right in my dirty old shed clothes, that you can hear me. Um, and I'll have to review it. I'm not going to put the cat on, it's not fluffy in here, and I don't need this on. I could put it on for anti-static and blowing and so on. Anyway, let's see if you can hear me now. Now, there is a problem. Um, I've just noticed. Obviously, sometimes I get people to hold the camera, and on the back of the GoPro here, there is a viewing screen. Well, of course, this clamps shut on the back, so there's no viewing screen. I thought this little housing will not fit in any way, shape, or form. Now, I could um, got a file, file that down and still be able to clamp it in there. But as I said, I will probably, probably still use old Faithful, um, which works fine. It didn't take long to charge, so I'm happy with that. What's next? I am now eight feet away. And normally this is when these are really bad and you can't hear a bloody word I'm saying. So now I'm 10 feet away and I don't know whether you can hear me. So I'm going to review it myself and let's see what it's like. Um, let's move over slightly here. <laughs> and now I'm in a cupboard. Um, yes, we're a little cupboard on the stairs here. I'm not going to go in there. Right, so can you hear me? Let's see how good this is. So it is night time here. I'm 10 feet away. I'm wrapping my towel up. I was swimming this morning. Let's put them budgie smugglers away. I was swimming this morning. I've got to go in the morning again and do my 64 lengths. That's the fourth day this week. Hot tub towel away. She's going to get really angry with me, I know, because the place isn't clean. Ah. 
But anyway, can you still hear me? I mean, hopefully you can still see me. Let's look. Yes, let's see. Oh, here's a uh, dementia dog. Come here, dementia dog. Oh, good, she's getting fat and old. 15 years old she is. 16 April, she's got dementia. She forgets her name, but she doesn't forget food. I let her out, and then she comes back in expecting food every time. So now she's got a bladder problem. She's doing about 14 peas a day. Comes back in, thinks it's morning every time. Anyway, enough about the dog. Can you still hear me? That's the main thing. Let's pop you back in the bed here. And plop. And hopefully you can still hear me. Now, we're going to go outside in a little while and try that one as well. But I'm now going in the cupboard. Can you still hear me? I mean, that's a good distance away. No microphone would work this distance. It does say about walls and so on, so we're gonna have to check that out. Anyway, there we go. So far, so good testing. Next will be in the shed as well. So we all know when I've been in my shed, um, it's not too bad till I'm ducking down, so I'm doing little bits like this. And of course, I'd show you this little bit like down here, and it'd be really loud. And I come over here again, it'd be a little bit quieter. The worst has been outside. And occasionally, I have music going on and people say that the music's been so loud they can't hear me. Let's give that a test. That's comfortable. Enough dancing, that's pretty loud in here really. I don't know if you can still hear me well. So, probably a bit louder than I'd normally have it. But again, it was worth the test. I said, I'm not gonna vlog with this. I don't know about the casing and, and if it starts spitting with rain and this underneath my helmet. So I said, I'm gonna stick with the original cable. But let's see how far out the garden I can go and see how long it works or how far it works away because that's a real test for this. If I find out that all this has been useless and you can't hear mumble I'm saying. But that's a test, isn't it? So here we go, I'm walking away now. Let's see, this is 10 feet, 12, 15, 20, I would say now 25 feet, lights coming on, 30 feet away, let's see how far away I can go, I and mean, you can still see me obviously. Let's see how far I can go away. A little bit of wind here as well, when you're picking that up. So, 35 feet, 40 feet, 45 feet, you can probably nowhere to see me now. I'm probably about 50 feet away and I've got no idea. Anyway, let's go back, 40 feet, 45 feet, keep going back. Dog's still there. Gate shut. Well, how was that? Because I'm pretty sure now you're going to hear me again. So is that a good enough test? I mean, it's been here under my chin, so I'm hoping you've been able to hear me. Still got to do the service on this bike. You know, I did a sort of do it the other day. Two plugs, air filter, oil, and this is this is done. 21,000 miles on the clock. I do like this little bike. I bought the pan. It is heavy. I'm going to do a video on that next. I'm going to do a vlog, free week riding on that. I'm happy this has gone really, really well. And uh, we'll keep doing that, I guess. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed my little test. Have you heard me while walking around? And do you think this may be something you'd buy? It's a bit of money, but if it works 50 feet away, which we'll see in a minute, we'll know, won't we? Is this something you may consider? Hopefully my review has been an insight into what you get in the packet. Takes about 30 minutes to charge, and I don't know how long it lasts yet. I mean, probably the same time as the GoPro itself, so maybe an hour and a half, maybe, something like that. Um, and is it a lot better than being tied to a cable and obviously hearing me in and outside? I guess the last test is outside with the camera outside. You pick much up outside, and I must admit, by the time I'm here, you don't hear diddly squat normally. I've got to say, it really does clamp really well onto the back of the GoPro. That was hard for you to say, and me. I said it four times, four takes, cut them out by the way. See, I'm not too impressed with the A1 bit. That feels a bit finicky, hope I don't break that. You, I can't leave it in there, because you have to charge both parts of it. So I'll be very careful how I take that in and out. It'll probably buy spares, I don't know. So far, so good. Anyway, please like, share and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, comments below please. What do you think of it? Would you buy it? What do you think of it? And go from there. Or maybe you've got other ones. I've heard of road ones as well. They're quite big ones, but they all looked like they weren't wireless. See what you think. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching.